My name is Stan Stanley Edmondson. I am a sculptor. We are on Figueroa Ave in beautiful Los Angeles, and we're looking at one of my action figures, my Gigantor action figures, which was my favorite cartoon when I was a child. And I wanted this one to just look like a large plastic toy. I wanted it to look just like um, people who collect action figure toys. Only large, it's nine feet tall. I wish it reproduced better. It just doesn't look that good <laughs> in this light. I've been making these Gigantors for 50 years and, uh, and I'm fascinated with them. And uh, I, wanted, I wanted a face that was really simple. I wanted a body that was real simple. Just to just to express some kind of simple need to manifest myself, I think. I'm interested in making kinetic pieces that I call toys, and uh, this is an oil derrick, and it makes a, it makes a nice sound, a little ringing sound. When I was a kid, I really liked working with Tinker Toys. Playing with Tinker Toys. So now um, this is a kinetic piece too. This is a little car, a Tinker Toy car I made out of a pipe strap. I come from the trades also, so hanging, this is hanging strap, homemade hanging strap. But here's a little Tinker Toy car. And uh, here's a Tinker Toy sculpture. I was a fan of the Fluxus movement, uh, Jam, Nam June Pike and Yoko Ono. And so I wanted to make, uh, recently I made a musical instrument influenced by the Fluxus movement. And so here it is. It's a lead weight. I like things that don't work and this doesn't work, if you know what I mean. It fails as a musical instrument and it kind of destroys itself in a sense. And uh, it kind of reminds me of Tong Li and Nam June Pai and all that. This is a way to design your own catenary arch, and one way to, to make a catenary, catenary arch is to hang a chain upside down. We all know that. Uh, kiln builders certainly know that. And so, so this, you can you can design your own catenary arch with this uh, catenary arch toy. This was all, all. This is is a meter. It meters something, and I don't know what it meters. Maybe moods. Here's my mood today. You know, it's a very simple dumb toy. Which I'm into. I, I, things that don't make sense or don't work, but move. I'm very much into people being able to interact with my work. You know, ceramics, you can touch ceramics, and then these are designed uh, for you to touch and play with. In the mid 60s, I took an art class from Betty Saar in Jay Carmichael's backyard, and this is. So this would be the oldest work of art that I own of mine. And so I would say I probably made this in 1966. I'm a huge fan of Betty Saar. She, she is my hero and she's, you know, she's still going and, it, and it's amazing. She's such a good role model for me. And so I go see her every time I can. If she has an opening somewhere, I, I show up and, and then and we talk. She's never seen a picture. Maybe she will if you tag her. But she's never, I've told her about this piece that I still have it, and but I've never shown her a picture of it or brought it. It's, I'm a little sh too shy to bring this to an opening or something and show it to her, but yeah. It's a piece of two by four with felt glued to it. And this had little plastic confetti things that all broke off over the years. Here's some teeny seashells glued to it. And here's some feathers, little plastic sequins or something. And, and acorn tops. And so uh, I, I don't want to tell you how old this piece is. Let me see if it's 1966. But, but uh, so I remember Betty from when I was a little kid. And this is a windmill kinetic piece. And I, I cut it out a half inch plate, the, the windmill, and I have a nice crank on it that I made. Stone, ceramic, steel. And actually the bearings that I use are super high tech, actually they're oil impregnated bronze bearings. So the, the action is, is perfect. Uh, you could use these in, in an engine, in a motor, which is also kind of humorous, I think. That it's so funky yet, it, yet 
it's, it's action is, is perfectly smooth. Back to kinetic art, uh, I, I like to make mobiles. It's kind of a trick, there's a technical trick to make them. I love balance and usually I have, a, I have rules uh, to keep myself in line that, that there has to be five. I like to use five objects to, so that it can't be symmetrical. And I, it just, I have certain limitations I force myself to keep with so that, so that they don't just get huge and, and unruly. And it is an infinite universe. It's so interesting, you know, you have to video these. If you do stills of these, they're just not that interesting, but you do a video and they just come to life, they animate, and it's really beautiful. And these that you're looking at now are objects I've made, they're hydrocal, they're painted hydrocal. I never use ceramic pieces because if you drop it, it'll break. So uh, hydrocal seems to survive drops pretty, pretty well. And then I make uh, mobiles out of found objects too. Keys. My ex-girlfriend had a stash of keys that I liberated and made a, made a mobile out of. And then this one's a out of lead. I, I really like fishing weights. I just like how they look. So there's a mobile out of fishing weights. And which is kind of deadly because it's got the hooks. Thimbles. I love thimbles. So I hoard, I have, you know, a couple thousand thimbles. 